Kansas City's rich history is represented in the stories of the individuals who live in Kansas City, the stories of our neighborhoods and our communities. One area filmmaker who has made it his mission to share these important histories is Rodney Thompson, whose current film, I Remember 12th Street, will be screened here at the Nelson Atkins Museum on February 23rd. Rodney Thompson, thank you for being here. And we also have a special guest, Junian James, who is also participating in the film. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mr. Thompson, what is it about 12th Street and this specific period of time that you that led you to focus this film on this on this period? Well, uh, 12th Street is an iconic street in the annals of uh, Kansas City history. Uh, it's been immortalized in song and is the subject of jazz legends. And uh, I just felt very much like I wanted to tell the story of 12th Street. And my partner and I, Stenson McClendon, took a look at it and started to talk to people. And we found out that People who lived in that area had such an affinity for the street. People who lived during the 1940s and 1950s at its height of popularity and to allow them to tell their stories of their memories of 12th Street. I was struck by how all of the people unanimously seemed to uh, feel a great sense of community a sense of community that we don't seem to, that doesn't seem to exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the film will be screened here at the Nelson Atkins Museum and it's a free screening, but we want to make sure that people still register on the Nelson's website, nelson-atkins.org, because we want to make sure that people reserve their seat because there's going to be a lot of activity happening at the museum. Um, but if people want to find out more about what you're working on, either upcoming projects or past projects, where's the best place to, to see that information? Well, uh, we've been very fortunate to have been supported by an organization called Real Images Film and Video Group. And there is a website called uh, realimages.org, that's R-E-E-L, images.org and you can find out about uh, some of the work that we're doing in the past and some of the things that we're working on right now. And what was so special about 12th Street? To me, people. Mm -hmm. And the way things were back in them days. You know, I knew it, most all the kids, you know, we all hung out together, played together. And then the streets, we had streetcars back then. And then we had these uh, apartment buildings, one too many houses. Most places were apartment buildings. And then the people, and then all the different clubs, and the pool halls, and restaurants that we had. We had uh, small restaurants. We had one that built later on in the years, it was called Vivian's. It was the most modern, most modern uh, restaurant. Then we had the clubs. They didn't have, the Argent Room was about the biggest club. It was one of the biggest in Kansas City for black or white. And I, I do want to add uh, that, that Julian has a phenomenal memory. To, uh, he has instant recall to events and activities that happened 60, 70 years ago. So what a gift. it's a fascinating mm -hmm. uh, uh, part of the film, hearing him tell his stories. Great. Thank you so much for telling us about the history of 12th Street and for sharing information about this film. Thank you for giving uh, us the opportunity to talk about the film. The Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund supports local nonprofits that bring cultural, social, educational, and recreational activities to our area.
learn about additional upcoming events, visit kcmo.gov ntdf.